Hey, Kev. How are you? How you been? I'm so good, man. I haven't seen you in actually a while. I know. It's been a long time. Have I grew? I went to, no, I saw you in Atlantic City. Yeah, but I'm saying, have, have I grew? You haven't. Well, I was, but I mean, think about Do it. Do you still have second. hope for this? Just before you answer it, why don't you make it look like you're mulling it over? Like, okay, really look at my shoulders. Hold on. Me... Look at my shoulders. Mm -hmm. Have I grew? Okay. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to go with, I don't think so. All right, that's fine. That's <laughs> I think fine. I'm going to stay right. with that. That's, right. that's a good I'm answer. I'm so sorry. All right. I'm so sorry to give so, you that news. You, well, you real. You're going to keep it real. I'm going to keep right. it 100 with you. I love it. I yeah, love I saw it. you in Lennox City. You were amazing. Thank you. And then they put a thing in front of me today of all your movies. Mm -hmm. How big is that piece of paper? Yo, this shit is crazy, Kev. It's a Kev. crazy piece of paper, Can we just right? talk about the, the body of work for a second? Yes, let's get into this it. This is good for your ego, yes? To like run down your accomplishments. I have an ego. Stop it, Kevin. <laughs> I mean, uh, Captain Underpants, Kevin Hart, what's now? The Secret Life of Pets, Central Intelligence, Ride Along 2, Get Hard, The Wedding Singer, Top 5, Think Like a Man, Think Like a Man 2, About Last Night, Ride Along, Grudge Match, Kevin Hart, Let Me Explain, This Is the End, The Five Year Engagement. Yo, this is one page. That's, That's one the page. first yeah. page. No, I told you how long is that piece of Exit page. Strategy <laughs> goes on and on and on and on. And then it goes all the way. There's a whole other page of it. Yeah. And then past, right past Soul Plane. It's paper soldiers. Paper soldiers. Paper soldiers. You only got the list because you wanted to make sure that I was still claiming paper soldiers and I am. I want to make sure you wasn't too good. I am. I, Tell them why. Tell them why paper soldiers is so special. Well, because I, I was in paper soldiers. What were I, you in paper soldiers? I was your parole, parole officer. Parole officer. That's right. And I thought, and I didn't know much about you at that time, but mm -hmm. I remember thinking he's so funny. Paper soldiers, man. Paper soldiers until this day. Yeah. I will go on record and admit this. That was my reel. That acted as my acting reel. Really? I would say Paper Soldier's Soul Plane, Think Like a Man. Pivotal. Were the movies that actually show, like, okay, this guy is capable yeah. of being a leading man, you know? Oh, Will Packer. Will Packer, man, my guy. He claims you? Will, Will. <laughs> Does he claim you? I, well, you know, who? if you have any lick of success and people can <laughs> yeah. attach themselves, everybody's going to claim yeah, you. Yeah, Everybody. yeah, yeah. Well, I feel like I, I you know, yes. part of your first movie, I, I helped you through that scene. I feel like I would like to claim here's, you here's a difference in me. as well. Here's the difference in me and anybody else. I don't fight the claims. If you, <laughs> you, were, if you were a part of <laughs> any of my growth in you this career there. and you were there, you know two things. You know I'm a good guy. Yeah. You know I'm appreciative. How are you adapting to all this type of fame? Are you good? Is you I am, feel I am do, great. Are, do you feel normal and and still um you know what I mean? Yeah, I ain't crazy. I'm good. It's hard though, no? Don't you It's it's only hard if you make it hard. I got the reality. I process well, the like, reality. You're like everybody knows you you're like household name famous. That's a different type of life. No, no, no. It's, it's it's definitely on a on another level. Mhm. Mm that means that you got to be strong up top. Yeah. Your mental has to be intact. Yeah. And the only way for your mental to be intact is for you to prioritize is what's important. You know? Yeah. And, where, you, and you did, it was a foundation? long, and it was a long, you, you were prepared for it. I took my lumps early. Yeah, yeah. I was in, you got them, 39 now. Paper soldiers, Yo, I was. Yo, you about to be 40? about to be 40. Man. What you going to do for 40? You going to jump out of helicopter down. like, I'm well? I'm going to sit my <laughs> ass down. That's what I'm going to do. You weren't inspired. You weren't inspired by Will Smith jumping, bungee jumping out of a helicopter in the no, middle. No, really. But I, but I know where he is. Maybe fifty, you might. No, 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 Never. no. No matter what, I'm not helping death. <laughs> okay, I'm right. not jumping on death's side. Like, right, right, hey, right. death, <laughs> I want to help you, man. I want to. <laughs> How about we? How about we up the ante and I give you a little <laughs> incentive to take me out faster? No. no, but I know where Will is. I can see it. Will is at a point. Uh, where so he is, good. he is living his life so vibrantly. Like he's there. There's so much happiness yeah. that this man is putting on display. Yeah, from showing that at 50 years old he is alive. And I'm not just talking about the bungee jumping. I'm talking about all of the things that this man has allowed the world to see since his embracing of social media. I, I watched the special. They did the. I watched the whole thing. I was obsessed. I set my alarm and everything. Mm -hmm. Like I was like, I want to see this. And he he had said, um, I'm at a point in my life when all I wanted, everything that I do, I wanted to either help people or yeah. the world. It's like I saw that he don't want for nothing. Yeah. All, his whole life is just to, what 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 good does this do to the? And I just thought, what an amazing to not want for nothing to just be in a position where you could just do shit it's for a like. Great, it's a great feeling, but I think it's it's fulfilling to know what's important. Yeah, and that for me, that's that's inspiring. 
so that's inspiring. that's motivation yeah. to me because you know you you go through levels of what you think is important mm -hmm. and then when you get those things you realize okay i got it but you know they mm -hmm. may or may not be the definition of what i thought happiness was yeah, yeah as you continue to grow and as you continue to get wiser you start to realize the smiles on others make you smile more yeah i totally agree providing and giving makes you smile more Creating opportunities makes you smile more. You're so, a pretty good giver too, man. I'm trying. You out here running with people I'm and trying, raising money trying and to follow suit. Trying to trying to jump on that path of uh, of of humanitarian, you know. But do you have that Will Smith like piece yet, or you still feel like you're like on a grind? I'm not where Will is yet. Yeah. I'm not there yet. I'm well, I'm very much on a grind. What are you chasing? Everything. <laughs> You have everything. I want it. I You're want, in every single movie, yeah, Kevin. I want. I want so much. What do you want? <laughs> I want. I want. What the hell could you possibly want? I want. You have a beautiful baby, a beautiful wife. I want mogul. Mm -hmm. I want billionaire. I want network. Mm -hmm. I want studio. Oh. So. All the things that I have given 110% and worked hard and that I've mm -hmm. seen within my career, they're all underneath umbrellas. Mm -hmm. I want to be my own umbrella and possibly be the umbrellas for others to come underneath and do things with. So, you know, I'm That's Oprah, you know, Tyler. You look at Ellen, you look at Jay-Z, you look at B, you look at... I look at the the entrepreneurs that are that are self made, but that have turned mm. it into so much more. You That's know? the inspiration. Yeah, there's the yeah. the show business, the business side of it. Is what I'm in love with, and that's what people, you know, are starting to understand mm -hmm. about me. Like, all right, you get the the talent, you get the comedian, yeah. and the actor, but the business. I got so much shit going on from a business perspective. I could tell that. That's that's where. That's where the motivation is coming motivation. from. I was thinking about this too. Like comedians don't get, I, I feel like you know you don't see like Oscars for comedy show, like mm. comedy movies. You're not you're not gonna get an Oscar for mm. a comedy movie. No. Do you care about that type of stuff? You can't. You, you can't. can't. Comedy's forever been because you know the lot of some of the comedians, the, the Jonah Hills, they try to they go a little left and they they which they should. I mean, I got a I got a drama coming out in January. You, you do? Know? Yeah. The what is Kevin Hart doing a drama it's be, it's feel gonna, like? It's gonna turn some. That's heads. weird. It's gonna turn some heads. It's gonna be weird. Brian Cranston, uh, Nicole Kidman, myself. It's gonna turn some. How heads. are you as a serious? It's, it's gonna turn some heads. It's gonna create a completely different. What can you tell me? Or it's it's too. Sore. I can tell you. It's unbelievable. It's the best the best movie I've done. Is that scary for you? To step in a drama field? Yeah. No, because really? I'm a talented cat. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. And I think <laughs> uh, when you are talented, you give glimpses of greatness in so many different areas. Yeah, but even field. if you're talented and you go out of your comfort zone, it's a little like, you know. I'm comfortable. You're more comfortable in drama. Really? It's easier to do drama than it is to do comedy. Wow. Comedy, you have to assume that the takes that you're doing are going to make people laugh. Right. I'm going to go on my best guess and say that take three is going to make people laugh when they watch it on the big screen. In drama, do you ever watch it look back? It. Do you ever watch it back and go that that was oh, yeah, funny? I've seen some of them. You, the audience would never know, but I've seen several things and you're like, where I was like, "Ooh, that one didn't go the way I thought it would." <laughs> <laughs> well, that fell flat. That definitely <laughs> fell a little that definitely didn't work right there. But, uh, and then you let it torture you, or you yeah. just move it on. Uh, you just move just it on. Just a little bit. I just go okay. <laughs> All right, swing and a miss. Bada bada bada, swing and a miss. <laughs> you have so <laughs> many though. It doesn't, yeah, you like can do okay. It. But I I love that for you. I can't wait to I see that. I can't wait for people to see it. I'm excited. Yo, how's Joe? So the new movie's coming out mm -hmm. uh, Friday? Friday? Friday, Friday, Friday night school. school. How's my friend Fat Joe as an actor? He's First pretty of good, all, right? Yo, man, Joe. Shouts out to Joe, man. Joe's a good dude. He's really good in the Spike Lee show. He's is he really? I yeah, have seen, seen it. Oh, he told he's, me. He's real. He, he told, told you me. he was really good. No, but he didn't say it like in an <laughs> asshole way. He's like, Kev, you got to check out your boy. Yeah. And despite I'm doing my thing, No, he's really thing, good. Man. He's really good. He was really good in this. Yeah, you know, I can't. You know, he plays uh, a guy that's in jail that's skyping in to class to get his GED. Ah, that makes sense. So he's in jail, but he's skyping in. So in. <laughs> <laughs> 
pants <laughs> in class. He's like on the screen. Oh. And he's like, yo, shut up, man. He's like very interactive with everybody. We're talking. But he's funny. Like his scenes really come off good, man. That makes me happy. Really, really good. That makes me happy. Joe, Joe, shouts out to Fat Joe just for coming and uh, being a brother. part of the movie, man. That's Amazing job. But he's a good dude. And Kevin, I love that you came to the defense of Tiffany. It's Tiffany Addish, it's my girl. She's my such sister. good people, and she's and uh, and I love the way she handled that whole cat situation mm-hmm. and with like just positive and love and brightness. But it's different when somebody else stands up for you, also. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, you know what what people did was people. I think so many people just jumped past my point. I know, you know they came for your neck a little bit, so right? Many people. I mean, that's the nature of being yeah, where I am. Right. You know, I, it's very hard to penetrate my armor. I'm okay. I'm bulletproof at this point. <laughs> yeah. It's it's sad when you miss the point. Mm. You know, people want to turn it into a, you know, Kevin and Cat beef. I, don't, I care less about Cat. I don't I don't I don't have beefs. I'm a comedian. Mm-hmm. I give two shits about a beef. Mm. The point that I'm making is that you don't tell everybody that black people need more shots. Black people don't have opportunities. Black people need to be on and put on. And then we get on, and then we want to take ourselves off. Mm -hmm. The point behind my whole rebuttal was very simple. It was to pick what we want. Yeah, Pick what we want. If we want more opportunities, whether you like the person or not, whether you're a fan of the person or not, whether you think I'm funny or not, these are the people that are in position to have opportunities that are opening up the doors for more people of color to get more opportunities. Mm -hmm. Those opportunities come when we're proven that we know how to be good on a global level. These people that are investing in these movies, that are putting the money up for these movies, we can only sway those mindsets and decisions by standing together and supporting one another. If I saw Seinfeld and Steve Martin and Jim Carrey and Will Ferrell, Seth Rogen, um, you know, uh, my God, who, who else can I name? Let's just use those guys as examples. If I saw those guys bashing each other, tearing each other down on the public level all the time, then I would say this is the nature of the business and this is what it is. Granted, I get it. Some people get on top. Some people feel that they should be in those positions. All right, there can be negativity. But there's ways to to share that negativity. When we do it publicly and it's yeah. always us yeah, 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 against that. us, is there a us? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm trying to make people understand. Once again, I don't care if you are a fan of Kevin Hart. I'm going to, guys, I'm going to be all right. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm right. going to be all right. Right. I'm still going to work. I will still find a way. Mm-hmm. That's what I do. Mm-hmm. It's earned. It's not given. The question is, what do you want? So when I hear the Cat Williams and the Mike Gaps and the, the responses from all over, I laugh because it means you're not listening. Mm-hmm. You're not listening. Mm-hmm. You, you, Why you don't reach out to each other? Once again, yeah. you're not listening. <laughs> Privately. Yes. Have a meeting. That means you're not you're not listening. We, Break we will bread. never we will never have our Harlem nights. Mm. This generation will never be able to have our Harlem nights because because of what? Because you're looking at negativity from what and why. Let's be honest. To really to really fucking hate me, you gotta <laughs> what? Like you really gotta be. <laughs> something's going on. You're to looking really, for something. Yeah, like, you're looking really, for something. <laughs> Yeah, hey, yeah, Kevin, yeah. a guy that you've seen publicly mad once. Yeah. If that, yeah. go back and go search any interviews. What have you ever heard me say bad about anybody? Yeah. I stay to myself. Yeah. I sit in the chair that I sit in. Now, granted, I can understand why some people would be upset. I can get where it comes from. And you're such like a fan of comedy. Like, I know I saw in your house when you did the Oprah thing, you had all the comedians. You, you had everybody. Everybody on your wall. Name, name and, a comedian. Uh, name a comedian. Dave Chappelle. Name him. Got him. Got them all. Is Bill Cosby still on the wall? Bill Cosby is still on the wall. Does he stay on the wall? You know, what he's done in his personal life has no effect on where I looked at him mm. from an artistic standpoint. Got it. As a comedian, uh-huh. that man 
was amazing at that talent. I don't support his personal life for decisions. How did that feel to you though? Yesterday, that's hard. The I mean, it's heartbreaking. No, yeah. the sentencing. The sentencing was yesterday. That's 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 all. That's his personal. Life. That's justified. Yeah. If if that there was man so much mixed, the that there was done, so much mixed feelings yesterday I can't, about it. I can't have mixed feelings about wrong yeah you you're innocent until proven guilty it's always so weird when you respect somebody's guilty, craft so much and then they disappoint you as a human when you're proven guilty then then you're guilty you know yeah. that's 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 sad it's unfortunate because you're looking at uh america's dad i know and you know to see to see that happen, he's old it's just the whole thing is a it's a it's a it's a touchy situation Ugh. but as a comedian he's still the comedian that is in a painting on my wall yeah. Because I embrace the talent of the comedian. I don't embrace the actions of the yeah. man that has done whatever he's done. I'm going to make that very clear. No, I get that. People will switch that up. Kevin, Kevin said. Yeah, no. no. But it's I just weird. It's it weird no, for all of us. I did not it's say like, that. And then even in the comments yesterday, like I, I feel everybody because everybody's like, it's so easy to say the wrong thing. So well, you don't, But here's, here's it's, what it is, It's all uncomfortable. You know why everything is uncomfortable? Why? Because in today's time, we're living in the world of opinion. Opinions are highlighted today. Yeah. Opinions are celebrated today. This right here gives everybody the access to, I'm going to express my opinion and people can see it. Mm -hmm. So now that everybody has a thought, feeling, or emotion and can display it and it be seen, everything feels... Everything is... It's all here. It's exhausting, it's Kevin. Here. And now... What drives the most conversation? Negative opinions. I know. It's so bad. How many positive opinions? Think about it on the day. Matter of fact, I, I would challenge you. Break it I down. Break it right down, now. Kevin. Break it down. I would challenge you right now. Okay, give me a challenge. To show me more than 20 positive posts within a day. What do you mean? Go I on think any... you following whack people. Uh -uh. I'm not talking about people. I'm talking about... The places in the that comments? Generate, no. From your blog sites, your media Oh, the sites, blog sites. Show me 20 positive posts within a 24-hour period that, that takes place from in From media. From, go, to the, go to your media. Go to any of your blog sites. All blog sites are driven with what? I'm going to take you up. I'm going to take you up. What on are they your, all driven with? On your challenge. Man eats woman's face. <laughs> Baby in the middle of the street. <laughs> crawling by itself why a woman cuts off man's dick said he deserved it oh uh old man took a cane to a little kid's face said he need to get off his porch <laughs> uh alligator in the street why water not being drinking causes man's butt to blow up to go look at it go Go look at everything. I'll what? give you. Why are these the things that come to your mind? That's just me. <laughs> why? <laughs> what is your mind? Woman answers the phone. Turns out it wasn't a phone. It was acid. <laughs> what? Blew a face. <laughs> look, how many do you see? How many? Why do is that you what's see? in your brain? Though? How many do you <laughs> see? Like yo, <laughs> a little boy today uh, read his first paragraph in front of his mom. Yeah. You know, hey man. Mom and dad <laughs> celebrates baby's first steps, gets it on camera. You know who's you know where you gotta go for that? Will Smith's Instagram I'm page. Saying, I'm talking about I'm <laughs> well, talking you about have to the follow things. Oprah. I'm talking about where negative people don't realize negativity is spread from places that yeah, I know. that celebrate negativity. And I'm not saying the negativity shouldn't exist. The world can't be positive. You got positive, you got negative for a reason. Yeah. But how much do you highlight positive? Instead, all right, you know that's our challenge. That's our challenge for to you highlight today. positive. We're going to try that for the rest of the day Yeah, because today. I said that. He's going to be, look at this Uncle Tom ass nigga. <laughs> look at this motherfucker on here talking about positivity like a sellout. <laughs> Sitting in a chair like a white man. <laughs> How should I sit? I don't know what to do. <laughs> what, what do you want Have me you to been do? criticized for sitting like a white oh, man? man? No, I'm just getting on. I'll be laughing. <laughs> Is that a thing? You don't know how much we laugh in my household. You must. By the shit Does your said. wife still think you're funny? No. No. <laughs> no. 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 That train. That train left the station years ago. That's it. Do you yeah. even try? No. Do you try to make no. you don't try? <laughs> baby, hey, baby, let me try this on you. Get out of my face. <laughs> right. When you come downstairs, I, I'm, I'm, I just want you to read this. Tell me if you think it's good or not. I've been writing. <laughs> no. All right. <laughs> Kids, come here. Let me show y'all something. No. All right, everybody. 
All right, I'm down here if y'all need me. <laughs> don't nobody give a shit. My household don't give two shit. Your kids don't find you funny. No, man, I'm joking. Oh. They, all think I'm the, they think I'm hilarious. But it's, <laughs> it's not like I'm on. I'm just naturally, yeah. I'm naturally funny. But what we really laugh at, like, we Is laugh it? at the 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 negative shit. Like, what makes me laugh the most mm. are the conspiracy theories that people create. Like, I read one thing. This guy was like, yeah, you know. These not obviously, you know, <laughs> obviously, y'all not paying attention. These are Illuminati moves. Oh. Okay. You know, first of all, first of all, I don't really even know what the Illuminati is. Like, I have no idea okay. the depth of even what it is. But the guy goes, track his movements. Oh. From movie one to now, ask yourself, how did he get that big? With the help of the Illuminati. <laughs> what, what, what? What about... What about me, man? I, <laughs> hey, man, it's, you so 20 years? You saying the Illuminati take 20 years to get you? Well, that's not a good group. I think y'all look at the wrong thing. If you talking 20 years <laughs> it's not a, to success, maybe they, maybe it's them. Maybe it's not me that y'all should be looking at. I, like, <laughs> I get so much. I get, uh, what else do I get? I get, um, I definitely get get sell out. Oh, he, he, he white funny. Yeah. He ain't oh. black funny. He white funny. You know I don't know <laughs> what that means. Well, you sit like a means. white man, yes, so well, that's what that means, guys. But <laughs> so that's what it is. And you know, uh, you know, there's a lot of different people in the world, man. What are you doing? Google? Do you Google yourself? Is that no, what's happening? like I go. You want to know who shows me? Uh, Jimmy Kimmel. Ugh. Like I go to Kimmel. Like they had mean, the mean tweets. So you got to read like the mean tweets. Uh, Ellen showed me some funny stuff. Ellen will randomly send me stuff. Like, oh. You're not famous. <laughs> like she'll send me somebody saying, Kevin Hart can suck my ass. He ain't <laughs> like, I got like some of the best relationships ever. Like, That's amazing. Yo, that, that, randomly. That, your Kimmel, um, I mean, your Fallon show. It said 70, 72 million views. It was so fucking 72 funny. 72 million. People think it was a joke. It was very true. What about you being afraid I of the animals? animals? What is your problem? I don't, I don't <laughs> fuck with animals. That's, nobody has seen this. I'm going to post no, a link. I don't fuck. I want to look at look how okay, serious I, I see got. You. Look. You know what's so interesting? I don't fuck with animals. No. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, Kevin Hart. What's <laughs> what your you middle name? Me? Darnell. Kevin Darnell Hart. Mm -hmm. I feel you. You know why? Because animals are like people. They might be cool, but I, they not, might not be cool. This is my theory. So some animals might be cool, like, oh, that's a cool animal. Just because I like one dog don't mean I should like all dogs. No. This is my theory on animals. I'm Tell me your theory. I'm not putting dogs in this category. A dog is an animal. You know the dogs to stay away from. You can look at a dog and go, I ain't fucking with that dog. Yeah. And I, do me a favor, man. Keep that dog over there. You can see that. All right? There's some but cats. a dog can flip on yeah, you. There's some cats even I look at. It. Like, hey, man. I got something ain't right with that cat. Keep that, cat <laughs> Keep that little fuck over, over there. there. Yeah, yeah that yes. cat's sneaky. I don't okay. know what he's going to do. Keep that cat over there. <laughs> I'm talking about <laughs> shit that can't be trained. I'm talking about wildlife. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> this motherfucker had tarantulas. I know, that was bad. Hey, bro. I told him. This is Robert Irwin. You know? It is. This is Steve Irwin's son. I think it's amazing that he's following in his yeah, father's He's footsteps. 14 and you were threatening him. I told him. <laughs> I'm going to punch you. If you bring that tarantula over here, I'm going to knock your ass out. Yes. Robert. Okay? There's like Jimmy said, he's 14. I don't care. I don't care. Don't bring that tarantula. He's like, crikey, he's good. He's a crikey good one. Yo, it was he had so snakes, funny. Like, and I asked him, I said, yo, do those snakes bite? And he was like, ah, that's all I need to hear. Like, you don't. You can't tell me. <laughs> it was so funny. Yeah, he had a baby. Ostrich. But did you not know you were going to do the segment? You knew you were going to do the segment. A rule that I have with talk shows. You don't do the pre-interview no. thing? No. Really? Just like you. I don't want to talk to you before we talk. Look how great our conversation is right now. You know how you come in on interviews and you got to pull teeth? Yeah. You gotta well, you also you know gotta, how to talk. I, yeah, I don't feel like, pressure to have to ask you shit. No, <laughs> and I feel like I'd at least deserve that respect. So when I go, you know that you're always going to get a great interview from me. I, I'm not doing a pre-interview. So wait, so you didn't know that there was going to be animals no. there? Oh, and they didn't know that you were scared of animals. They said, my publicist said, guys, he doesn't like wildlife. You're going to get a crazy <laughs> reaction. She was like, Kevin, do you? I said, don't tell me nothing. So it was like, I got a little taste of my own medicine because they had it told me. I said, don't don't bring them animals on set. Like <laughs> he had a baby ostrich. You don't have any pets? I got a dog. Okay. That I can control. <laughs> 
that knows me. <laughs> is I it got a little a dog? dog? And I'm very honest with people. Mm-hmm. No, I got a, I got a Doberman. Oh, really? Oh, I've Dolby. seen it. I've seen it. But I've had that Doby since that Doby was Jay Big. Okay. So people come to my house and they ask me, do that dog bite? And I go, not me. <laughs> <laughs> I say, not me. <laughs> they said, am I good? It's on you. It's on you. I don't, I, I'm not going to tell you what's on her mind. Yes. I know that if I tell my dog to sit and go lay down, she going to sit and go lay down. Mm-hmm. If I tell her to go outside, she going to go outside. If I say come in the house, she going to come in the house. Trainable. She listen to me. <laughs> but if I'm upstairs and I'm in the bathroom <laughs> and she choose to have a bad moment and she don't see me, it may be go time. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I came downstairs one time. One of my friends was in the corner, and my dog was just sitting, looking at him. And I said, "Why are you in the corner?" He said, "She just. Uh, she don't seem like she want me to go nowhere else." And I was like, yeah, "I ain't never seen her do that before." I said, that's, "That's new to me." I said, "Maybe we got to get that checked out." See, that's why I don't trust. But them. it's like you don't know. I that's know. Why I don't. I don't do the whole. Petting zoos. You know, we went to Australia. You, you didn't do a safari? You've never done a safari? Not, or Listen to me. You want three? I'll give you two good stories. Okay. We go to Australia. Yeah. They want to give me the VIP treatment. It's uh the koala bears. They're in the... Uh, it's so you know, cute. Right? They're nocturnal. Right? They uh-huh. sleep yeah. all day. Koala bear wake up. My wife is like, oh, I got to get a picture of the bear up. I said, babe, don't go in there with that damn koala bear. She said, babe, come on. They, they All of them sleep this one up. I just want a picture under the bear. I'm telling you, don't go in there with that koala bear. She said, take the picture. Stop. I said, all right, I'm going to stand here, and I'm going to take it. Hand on the Bible. This koala bear took his hand and swiped. When he got here, I was gone. When his <laughs> hand got here, I dropped whatever I had. You left your wife. Oh, listen. <laughs> with the listen. bear. Hey, I'm I'm at the other end <laughs> of the hall. They come out, they laughing. Oh my god! Oh my god! The people that work, they're like, oh, the smell of your hair. <laughs> they smelled your hair. He was trying to smell your hair. She's like, babe, why you run? First of all, reality hit her fast and showed her how fast I'm. I am, <laughs> and that I'm not good at alerting people to what I see behind them. Right. I not. I didn't want to say. Watch out! I didn't say nothing. <laughs> I dropped Pew. the phone. I was gone. Yes. We went to uh, the safari mm. in uh, South Africa. Lions, tigers, all the stuff. They say, hey, y'all want to go out there and walk with the lions and tigers? Oh, no. I'm like, hey, man, what do you mean walk with them? They're like, you know, <laughs> you can walk and they'll just be around you. You know, we can have them walk in front of you. You can get great photos. It looked like you in the wild with the tigers. And everybody's like, yeah, yo. You know, it's a group of us, the whole tour. Yeah, yo. So I get talked into it. Oh, dumbass. Oh, Kevin. God. We out there walking with the lions. Man, they said, look, don't nobody do no sudden movements. Don't ever turn your back to the to the, to the the lion. Never. Just walk straight. So what are you me. supposed to we do? Gotta, walk backwards? Man, this tiger or lion was walking. And turn around and lock eyes with me when I say I got to this fucking bus so fast. <laughs> hey, hey, you can hear everybody. No, don't do that. <laughs> the guys, because they didn't want the lions to, to like, start get chasing. Crazy and ch- I didn't give a fuck <laughs> about nobody else. But me, you ran. I got on that bus. I pulled that lever, closed the <laughs> door. They looked back. I was in the window. <laughs> Yo, I didn't give a shit. I left friends, family, wife, <laughs> man. In my mind, I said, he about to eat me. I'm not going to die like this. This is not how it's going to happen. Because he looked at me. Yeah. And it's always me. It's always me, man. <laughs> I always get the eye contact. I always get the weird moment. Yeah. I feel like it can go bad. Yo, you're like a real scaredy cat. Of of wildlife. You're scared of wildlife. Wildlife. You don't want to bungee jump. 
I'm not bungee jumping. You don't want to <laughs> do you do like roller coasters or no? Why? No. <laughs> that age where you can't do that shit. When last time you been on a roller coaster? I hate roller coasters. When's the last time? I'm actually realizing today that you and I have a lot in common. Well, try it at our age. I guarantee you. I old, didn't like it at 14. Your I didn't like it. Equilibrium will no, be thrown off. No, I didn't like roller coasters at 14. I, I, Head banging up against this shit. <laughs> you gonna get off? Talking about what's next? No, no. It's time to go home. You want a dad to do it? It's time to go home. Give me the coats. Give me the coats and all the purses. Y'all gonna have a good time. I'm I'll right down here. here. I'm I'll right here. With a funnel cake. Seat. With security around me so don't nobody mess with me. <laughs> Eating the funnel cake. Mm. What about yeah. flying? You're good with flying? In a plane? Yes. Until the plane get too small. Okay. You don't like a small plane? I don't like not too small. I don't want to. I can't feel everything. Don't give me all the turbulence at once. What about heights? Where am I at? Like, are we talking like a realistic situation? Like uh, the top of the Empire State Building. You go out there, you go to the top level, you're looking down. Why do I need to? Why do I, <laughs> why do I need to look down? I don't know why I need to look Yo, down. Yo, you're a scaredy cat. But why do I need to look down? <laughs> to see the beautiful city from that high up. I, I can see it from from down, looking up. It's mm-hmm. the same thing. So climbing up there is like, all right, that's more of a task to yeah. say, "Yo, we did it. We climbed up." I don't need to. I don't need to look. Here's, I just told you. Swimming what? with the sharks. None of this. Fuck that. <laughs> What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I got it. I swam I with the it. pigs in the Bahamas. That's so much fun. And I'm the only one that, like, the pig, like, they didn't knit. Like, he didn't bite me, but he was on He you. nipped me a little bit. I was like, yo, I don't even have none of my hands. He, like, nipping my leg. And the guy, he was like, I don't know. I don't know. I was like, what the fuck is that, man? Get the pig. Like, get him out of here. Like, I didn't have a hot dog on the stick no more. Get the fucking pig, man. <laughs> then you seem like the crazy guy. Because when you, you know, you know when you reach that level of scared where it goes crazy, like yeah. where it goes frantic. My frantic is very fast. It go, yo, somebody gotta get him, man. He's it's, I think he's doing something. Yo! <laughs> yo, get the fucking thing, man! Like it go, right? It goes It goes to all hundred. Yeah, death. Everything equals death in my mind. So I can't Do you do stunts in the movies? In your movies? I in my mind I do. Okay. <laughs> Until but no. the real shit come up that hurt, then uh then the guy come in. I always try to do something kind of, sort of. <laughs> that like, means no. Like, I'll be like, yo, what, what's this? What, what do I got to do? He, he jumping over the car? That's it? Sliding over the car? Let me, let me get the first take. I do it. <laughs> and then I do it and, like, twist my ankle. And I'm like, oh, man, that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Bring what him in. What am I doing? Yo, man, get him in here. God damn it. Somebody trying to beat Tom Cruise. Sit my stupid ass down. I don't do this shit. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I did a fight scene when we was doing Ride Along 1. And one of the stunt men, he had to like throw me up against the wall, and he was like trying to be like extra light. He was like, "Yo, Kev, you know, you're, you're the actor. I don't want to hurt you." I'm like, "Yo, man, we men, all right? <laughs> I'm a man, so go ahead, do it. Just let's get it, so so it can look good. We don't want it to look fake." Man, this dude threw me against the wall. I said, "What the fuck is your problem? <laughs> what? It's a movie, man." He said, "You told me to throw you, not like that. <laughs> you snapped my neck, my neck." <laughs> I think I snapped my neck. Did anybody see? Look at the playback. I looked at the playback. That man didn't throw me at all. I said, Jesus Christ, Kevin. Go <laughs> sit your stupid ass down somewhere. You just in here just not doing nothing. No more stunts. Put your frail ass down and let them come in. <laughs> You're so frail, yeah, Kevin. Frail. That's what it is. What you... Well, I put weight on now. I'm different. You know, now I done bulked up a little bit. Yes, well, you're very yeah, bulked up I'm, and I'm, muscular. This was, this was before bulk up, Kev. I understand. This was before that version. Of now me. you can. Now. You, know, you and The Rock could now, do like a full... Well, now, you know, I, I do those stunts. He doesn't. You know, he's What do the, you mean? He doesn't. He he bitches out. Are you telling me he doesn't do his own stunts? The Rock? No. Yes. No. Stop it. No, None? I do them. I do them. <laughs> Go look at Central Intelligence. That's me jumping off that 50-foot building. You're a full liar. Go look at the playback. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go look. Go look at it. You're going to see me. <laughs> All right, so night school, everybody. We are excited. Friday it comes out. You're going to love it, 100%. And people, you're going to love it. Go see the movie, man. It's it's funny. Mm-hmm. It embraces second chances. And that's something that uh, shouldn't be frowned upon. Just because you don't get it right the first time doesn't mean you can't go back to second. Yeah. Do it right, do it bigger, do it better. This movie is a pure example of what it means to go back and apply yourself differently, learn from your mistakes, and move on, and ultimately become the best version of you. Oh, it's a heartbeat production, which means that there's heart in it. That pun is intended. What a play on words. How and it's also it? taking you to your goals of... It's the goals, man. 
This is partnering now. Studios and partner networks and partner. This is the you first know, one. My first one that I'm actually producing. Yes. Wow. Actually, fully producing. That's amazing. So, people, if you don't respect anything else about your boy K Hart, mm -hmm. respect the fact that I go after what I want, mm -hmm. and that the word no has never been acceptable, and I can be a pure, proven example of hard work, determination, and payoff. It pays off. You ain't got to like me, you ain't got to love me. Just respect that piece. I don't ask for much. <laughs> I don't ask for much. Man, I'm going to get rid of this white man posture I got. Is this it? Am I sitting, oh, Kev. Am I sitting like it right now? Don't you? <laughs> am I, is this all right? No, you've adjusted a little you bit. Sure? Is it's this a okay? little, yeah, yeah, you're a little, yeah, it's a little harder. It's, yeah, not, it's harder? not like rapper, is this, but it's like what about some. Now? Let me change it. No? No. Damn it. <laughs> I really tried to thug it up just now, <laughs> yeah. wasn't it? It's no. not. It's somewhere in the middle. <laughs> Congrats on everything, man. Just joking. I love you. Stay so positive. Bad. I love you too, man. Don't let that shit. I feel like you know. You say all that, but I feel like it's some. Some of it seeps in a I'm little bit. You, do you, I, I wish you see this, man. You see how strong this shit is. I know. I get it. We're all strong. You don't survive this long without being strong. No, not just strong. But it's disappointing, is what I'm saying. Mental. Mental. What do you mean? Your mental strength is the hardest strength to really define. That's the hardest one. 39 years old now, I'm about to be 40. Been in the business since I was 18. Heard the word no consistently from 18 to 23. Mm. 23, 24, thought I had my shot, I'm here, I'ma make it, no again. You don't have it, you're not gonna be a star, the star show, the movie that you let the lead in, nope, nope, nope. I've been groomed in position to ultimately become what I am now by experiencing all that then. Mm. Now, if I had experienced what I experienced now, then, and then got the nose, 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 I would be a mess. Mm. I'd be damaged. But I'm groomed. So this isn't me just talking out my ass about mental. I'm proven. Mm. I'm proven. That's why I love that you stood up for Tiffany because she. I have spent a little time with her. She's so dope and she's sweet, but she's also... Uh, still fresh. Yes. yes you know that's what I mean? That's reason why I was a voice for her. Yeah. Because she doesn't know that side of it yet. Yeah. Although she's a strong fucking girl, man. She's Tiffany super strong, but it still sucks. You still have to build up that, you know, that's she's that. at a new level. This is a new level of fame for her. So it's all the bullshit that comes with that. That's like, you know. The only thing that I It's nice when people, especially as a woman, like. Well, I think that you're also seeing a change overall just in the defining position for women. Like, yeah. with the conversations of today and knowing what women want and what they deserve and what the conversations have been, mm -hmm. more men are going to be doing more of the same because we don't want to be insensitive to what was said. Right. You have to come off as a person that that listens and that's making a step in the right direction of helping to change. Mm -hmm. You help to change by supporting the other gender. Plain and simple. God, I'm so well spoken. Fuck, yeah, you're man. like a, I don't know, you're How like a, do you're it? like, I, I thought I was interviewing like a comedian actor. I, I didn't know, I was, he's like like inspirational speaker today. It? It's kind of crazy. How does he do it? Mm. Mm. <sighs> Thanks, I haven't Kim. changed. The only thing different is I, I travel with a marching band to play music for me when I walk down the street. <laughs> and it's, uh, Shall we? yeah, it's just, when I leave, you guys are gonna hear, you're gonna hear a little bit of noise, but just understand it's okay, they're with me. It's just uh, it's uh, thirty. It's okay, everybody. Thirty drums, a couple, <laughs> couple saxophones, a couple bass, a couple trumpets out there, and uh, we play a little song called "Go Kev Go." It's just uh, as I walk. Okay. It's Other normal. than that, it's normal. It's totally yeah, normal. It. Yeah, normal. What's up, Kevin Hart? Nice. Thank you. Uh, Friday, Friday, Thank Friday, you. Friday. Friday.